All right, so now we're going to fix symmetry. Now, I'll just let you know that this is probably the worst case scenario in the fact that it comes to a point right here. Now, if I teach you worst case scenario, you'll thank me later when all other things pale in comparison. Let's go into edit mode. It would be really stupid of me to go and highlight faces all the way around to delete these off this side because let's say I try to box select. Um, if I box select, hitting B on the keyboard and try to get in here, look at, I'm always going to highlight some faces on one side, okay, or the other. Here's a different way to do this. If you're in face, let's go edge ring. Shift, control, alt, click. Oops. Just like that. Shift, control, alt, click. And then I can get rid of these faces. Notice I'm getting rid of faces on the negative X or negative Y, sorry. So here's Y, here's negative Y. This is the faces I want to get rid of are on negative Y, this side of the character, the side that the green arrow is not pointing. That's important. It's just easier to contemplate this way. Okay, now I can use box select and I won't get any spare pieces from behind. Now, this feature right here, this is limit selection to visibility. I want to turn that off. If that is on, I will never be able to get all the parts. X faces, X faces. Okay, now, why is this such a nightmare character? Let's look at it in top view. Look at the stinger. The stinger is here, and the edge right here, these need to be in one plane of existence. They can't be at a tilt, or it'll be very hard for me to mirror this object. To fix this, first off, Shift-Alt on any edge on the outside, Jump into 7 on the keyboard, and let's scale this flat. Take off snap first. Okay, scaling it flat basically states that this whole edge is going to be on the same plane. And then I'm going to move it out. W on the keyboard to move. Good. You can see now the stinger is like this. And if I jump in seven, you can see it's all on one existence, one plane. Okay, I'm going to right click here and I'm going to set this as the origin, origin to 3D cursor. Good. Oh, got to be in object mode for that. Sorry. There we go. Now I'm just going to add a mirror modifier to it. I'm going to choose Y. And you can see I'm still having some problems with the whole tail thing. Well, Here's where we toggle back and forth between edit and object. In edit mode, I'm going to hit A. And then I'm going to put a natural gap between the character. Then down below, I'm going to grab the edge. Again, that's Shift and Alt. And try to scale that negative again. This will bring that gap a little bit more unified. Or uniformed, depending on what you want to say it. OK. 
Okay, and then I'm just gonna go like that. Okay, A again, highlight the entire part and move it closer. So now there's less of a gap there. Now the rest of it, I'm going to change via this. I'm in edit mode and I'm slowly creeping out. Now I can click and drag and sometimes I get good results. If I do it very patiently, it's got a huge snap area though. There we go, right there, perfect. Absolutely perfect, okay. So that is the pain in the butt part right there. <laughs> no pun intended. Oops. Okay, apply that in object mode. And there we go. Now if I want to fill this, I could. F, F, so grab an edge, grab an edge, hit F, and then another thing is if I hit uh, Control R, I can put an edge loop in here, and then I could take uh, the vertices here and, and here and merge those together at center, and then again over here and here and merge those at center. There we go. Now we have a closed off character uh, with good topology. This allows us to sculpt in Y. And it's just good practice to be able to build uh, a simple form like this. Now, if we would have been maybe a little bit proactive and said, well, in, in a concept workflow, this is the price we have to pay. We have to pay for this in the mains that we now have to join these parts together. If you box model the entire thing, you wouldn't have had to done do that, but uh, you wouldn't have got a really good flow of things. It would have been awkward. So either way, you know, there's a price you have to pay. There's no doubt about it. Let's see if I can just. On the wireframe. Wireframe is so much easier. Notice I'm using the arrows here to move this, not this, because that could break symmetry. Okay, again, arrows only. And I'm not breaking Y symmetry. So I'm just fixing up that flow a little bit. All right, now that we've learned how to join forms together, mirror them correctly, uh, let's look at the next video.